What does cholesterol, Adam and Eve, and the First World War all have in common? Pomegranates. Okay, it's not exactly the funniest joke, but my point is that the round, pinkish fruit has had so much influence on the world that it might as well have its own Instagram page. But here's what you might not know. Pomegranates may not be household names like apples or bananas or oranges, but you only have to scratch the surface to find the seeds of change through human history. Today, we're going to look at how this somewhat hard to get into fruit went from its hometown of Iran all the way to a major player on the world stage. Starting way back on the Iranian plateau, pomegranates sprouted their 15-foot stems throughout Persia all the way to the Himalayas of northern India. It even got to hang out in the hanging gardens of Babylon. Not many fruits get that bragging right. Here, it spread across regions bordering the Mediterranean Sea before Spanish missionaries would take it to the New World in 1769. One hop and a skip later, and this fruit went from Mexico up through Northern America and then to the rest of the world. Some religious scholars even suspect that it was the sweet seeds of the pomegranate that Eve partook in the Garden of Eden, and not the apple. Both fruits share a lot of similarities in appearance and symbolism. They're both round, red, and super sweet tasting. But which one do you think is a better sign of life and fertility? Is it the apple or the pomegranate? The name itself, pomegranate, derives from the Latin word pomum, meaning apple, and granatum, meaning seeded. In fact, the modern French word for apple is pomme, while the traditional word for pomegranate is pomme grenade. That's right, grenade. That's why in World War I, the French army named their round, handheld bombs grenades, because of how they dispersed like the seeds of this fine fruit. Through trading on the Silk Road, consumption and cultivation would spread with even the likes of ancient Greece and ancient Egypt being early adopters. Paintings, carvings, and papyrus all track the heritage of this Iranian-born wasper fruit. Its distinct shape can even be seen on the shekels of Jerusalem and were allegedly decorated into the walls of Solomon's temple. A testament to its cultural influence is that no matter which culture ends up adopting it next, it's quickly elevated to the status of artistic. Iran has long seen the pomegranate as an image of immortality and fertility due to how many seeds are hidden within its tough shell. This association with reproductivity can also be seen in the Greek goddess of Persephone when she is gifted pomegranate seeds from Hades, whereas the ancient Egyptians took its vitality to mean ambition. China, too, viewed it as a sign of a prosperous future, sharing the view that the seeds meant fecundity, which is a posh word for having lots of kids. You could say that the pomegranate was the original meme template, waiting to be filled with variations of a theme. Medicinal properties have too long been attached to this humble star of the fruit world. Bygone civilization used it as cure-alls for everything from inflammation to tapeworms. Sounds painful. Now, with modern science having had a crack at the succulent insides, scientists have noted that the high levels of antioxidants seem to correlate with a decrease in cholesterol. There are even some signs, though more testing is needed, that it is effective against cancer, AIDS, and aging. Yay! Yes, aging. Such a reputation for life and health means that many a quack have tried to exploit the pomegranate's medicinal properties. Fairly recently, Palm Wonderful, the pomegranate juice drink in the pretentious bottle, got into hot water with America's FDA for over-exaggerating its health benefits in its advertising. Pomegranates are also a recurring theme and common table item in Iranian gatherings, dinners, and more. They love to juice it, eat it like cereal, and turn it into tangy delicacies. Even after thousands of years, it still symbolizes abundance, blessings, and warmth. The fruit is also important for celebrations such as the Night of Yalda, the ancient Persian winter solstice celebration. Iranians all around the world gather together towards the end of December to pass the longest night of the year by sharing stories, singing, laughing, and eating trays of delicately cracked clusters of pomegranates, their ruby red seeds glistening in the candlelight. So maybe it's not the cure-all our ancestors believed it to be, but given that one of the world's most ancient fruits can survive for so long, both botanically and culturally, then it's fair to say that we are truly blessed that the pomegranate's roots have spread as far as they have. My name is Amir, and this is Iran Untold. We'll see you in the next one.